Hello, good evening. Hi, teacher, good evening. Hi, good evening. Good evening. All right, can you hear me? Yes. Good. Okay, let's start in two minutes. Hello, good evening. Good evening. <laughs> good evening, Mr. Alexander. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Ms. Carolina. Nice to see you. Good evening. Good evening. Okay, well, let's start. Good evening, it is seven o'clock. Okay, well, let's begin to refresh the use of simple present. Vamos a recordar, vamos a dar un pequeño de, a recordar un poco el simple present. Okay, yeah, yeah. yesterday, we studied a little bit about simple present, okay? Also, we did this exercise, okay? About number one, Mr. Alexander, number one, what is the correct answer? What is the correct answer? What is the correct answer? Okay, how about, how about Miss Carolina? What is the correct answer? That's and uh, uh, one of uh, number, one. number one number one she she types report excellent she types re report number two miss brenda that's to arrive excellent number three miss sonia mm, that she arrived early excellent that she arrived early Okay, muy bien. Recordamos que utilizamos los pronombres he, she, it, agregamos S o ES al verbo. Cuando hacemos una pregunta utilizando el pronombre he, she, it, lo hacemos con el, el auxiliar does. Y cuando hacemos una pregunta ya no agregamos S o ES al verbo. Muy bien. Okay, so we're going to develop this exercise. Okay, we have from Monday to Friday, Dominic okay, at five. 
p.m. Wake up. La, la, la rutina, la daily Wake routine up. de Dominic. Wake up. I hear someone. Wake up. Ok. ¿Qué hacemos? Estamos hablando de Dominic. Agregamos a qué al verbo. Wake up. Excelente. Wakes up at 5 p.m. Excelente. She. Go to work. Go she to work. work and she, when she gets there. She goes. She, she go, goes. goes. She goes to work. She goes. She goes. And when she gets there, she. Check. 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 Checks her emails her, and. Her email and her. Her. Calls all the clients in her daily list. Mm -hmm. Lisa and Claudia. Work, work work with Dominic. They go to go to have have okay have. go to have lunch together up at 4 p.m. Dominic go goes go okay, recuerden hay que agregar s o e s goes. al verbo cuando utilizamos en este caso, Dominic. O sea, Goes es, home. Exacto. O sea, lo, si lo sustituyéramos por un sujeto, sería she. ¿Okay? Entonces, en este caso, sería eh, goes. Goes. Les voy a proyectar las respuestas. Okay, Esas son las respuestas del ejercicio del manual. Okay, here you have the answer of the exercise of the manual. Okay, from Monday to Friday, Dominic wakes up at 5 a.m. She goes to work and she gets there, she checks her emails and calls all the clients in her daily list. Lisa and Claudia work with Dominic. They go to have lunch together at 4 p.m. Dominic goes home. Okay, y tienen la respuesta de ese ejercicio que usted lo puede encontrar en el manual. Okay, let's continue. Okay, uh, press a symbol, which is the correct form? What is the form correct? Press a symbol. I like. Have, here you have two options. I like this shop. Okay, I like this shop. I often shop here. Okay, muy bien. Shop here. Continuamos. Where? Where, Where does, 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 okay, do, here, do because do. it's do porque tenemos a, perdón, perdón, it's do porque, eh, se está, tenemos dos sujetos, tenemos Ana y David. En ese, en ese caso utilizamos... Okay, ¿Qué tal? Ah, 
She has. She has. She has breakfast. She has breakfast in bed where she is ill. Again. Seems. 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 Excellent. Seems. Seems to be stressed. Good. Stressed. Stressed. When does. When does. Does he snow? When does he snow? Okay, Jack. He speaks, 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 speaks several languages. My husband doesn't, doesn't, doesn't like doesn't like coffee. Doesn't Good. Like. A lot of mm. children. Children is plural. Children, guys. Go. 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 Excellent. Go. Go. Do or does Brian? Does Brian like Brian? Brian. Excellent. We we don't don't live. We don't live. We don't live. We live far from here. We don't live far from here. Excellent. We we play. 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 When? Do. When do you do your homework? When do you? David. Uses a computer. computer every day. I don't I don't I don't I don't want to go shopping today. This shirt. Need. 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 Is no Needs. What? Do you want? What do you want? Excellent. What do you want? We usually has usually lunch. We usually have have. have. Uh, okay. My husband and I love 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 animals. Love love. Love. Ryan doesn't speak doesn't speak French. Doesn't speak French. Kathy? No. No. A lot of people. No. A lot of people. No. Katie knows a lot of people. They come from they come from they come from Sweden. They come from. No, thank you. I I don't, don't want, want anymore. 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 This picture looks nice. Looks nice. Looks nice. Looks nice. Do John and Julie does or does? Do. Do. Excellent. Do. 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 Do John and Julie. Do John Not and Julie live in Mark, so well. Mark has. Excellent. Mark has. How much? How much do you like that? Oh, that. That. Ah, porque estamos hablando de Alana A. Uh, a lot of bread. Uh, the, the 
Pang. That was the last one. Okay, good. Okay, now. Assistance. Esta es la mayoría. Y esta es su tercera clase. Ok, miércoles 21. Eh, Alexander Aro. Excelente. Eh, García Orellana. Present teacher. Carla Lisset. Present teacher. Okay. Carlos Alberto. Present teacher. Excelente. Eh, Carolina Eleonor. Present teacher. Yeah. Edgar José. Present teacher. Elsa Merino. Present teacher. Erickson René. Erickson René. Ever Giovanni Ortiz. Present teacher. Heidi Marisol. Present you can teacher. You can hear me, teacher. I, I, I hear me. Perdón. You can hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Okay. Okay, Jose Nico, Nicolás. Present teacher. Flamenco Asensio. Present teacher. Juan Alberto Rivas. Present teacher. Juan José Cerón Quintanilla. Juan Ricardo Alvarenga Alas. Present teacher. Navarro Medrano. Navarro Medrano. Maritza Reyes López. Samuel Isidro Tejada Anaya. Present teacher. Cortés Vargas. Present teacher. Miss Yesenia Emperatriz Escoto. Present teacher. Ok, good. Ok, ahora lo que vamos a hacer es... Eh, Ayer, como algunos de ustedes iniciaron con su daily routine, okay, ahora vamos a eh, finalizar para después explicar uno por uno okay, su daily routine. Vamos a trabajar en grupo, we're going to work in group. Okay. To create your daily routine, para que se pueda ayudar en crear su daily routine. Ayer envié un ejemplo que usted puede seguir para... Eh, Crear su rutina diaria. ¿okay? También puede utilizar palabras como after, que significa después, ¿okay? o before, que significa antes. ¿Qué te puede decir? After I wake up, I, I take a shower. Después que me levanto, me tomo un baño. O after I eh, wake up, I make my bed. O atiendo mi cama. Se puede utilizar este tipo de palabras para unir oraciones. ¿okay? Así que vamos a trabajar en grupo y después vamos a ir relatando nuestra daily routine.
Dice, perdón, me sacó. ¿Qué es lo que vamos a hacer? Ahorita vamos a crear la, eh, nuestra daily routine. La Hola. rutina diaria. ¿Hello? Ay. Perdón, que es que se me está cayendo la conexión. <laughs> um, I used to wake up at 6.30 a.m. when I'm not working. Um, after that, I, I go to take a shower and then I brush my teeth. And after that, I used to make my breakfast and then have breakfast at 30 a.m. <clears throat> Let's see what else. Mm. Well, that is when I'm not going to work, but when I go to work, I used to wake up at 5.30 a.m. Then I take a shower. At five forty-five a.m., and then I brush my teeth, and I prepare the food that I bring to my to my job. So <clears throat> I go to take the, the transportation to my job at six thirty a.m. And I arrived um, to my job at around 7 a.m. And then I start to work from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. And during the day, I had breakfast at around 9 a.m. The other hand, I brush, brush my teeth. And finally, around uh, 10 o'clock, I go to sleep. Okay. That's it. And you, Josue? Uh, I usually get up at uh, 5 o'clock in the morning. I take a shower. I usually get dressed to go to work. I have a breakfast. I brush my team. I living home at seven o'clock. At, at eight o'clock in Ari way at work. The first I do, I check my email. Uh, review a uh, coaching do document I have a uh, lunch in one o'clock uh, I live in work at, at seven seven o'clock return home at uh, seven o'clock I try try Say plus, I have dinner and watching TV. I take English class at 10 o'clock, marketing study, at 11 o'clock, I fall asleep.
finish. Finish. Good. Okay. Just hold on. Vamos a esperar un momento mientras los demás sigan practicando. So in my case, I... Okay, voy a ver. Okay. Teacher, eh, ¿puedo utilizar el ten como luego o algo así? Se dice así. Exactly, you can use that expression. And then, y después, then. or later. Ok, entonces, entonces, va, porque yo lo he iniciado. I get up at five o'clock in the morning. Then I take a shower at six yeah, o'clock in the morning. I brush my teeth. Sí, correct. Good teeth. 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 Ah, esa palabra me cuesta. Esa siempre me ha costado, dicha. Um, déjeme ver. Ah, la, la pregunta. Este at twelve noon, como decir, como las doce del mediodía. O puede decir únicamente at noon. At noon, ok. Ah, bueno, es que noon at... es mediodía. Pero noon, nosotros decimos at... after noon, lo que es literalmente después del mediodía. No decimos Entonces bueno, lo dejo solo at noon. Exactly, you can say like that. Ok, at noon. Y es correcto decir I take lunch. Es decir, yeah, a las 12 del lunch. mediodía tomo el almuerzo. Or you can say, at 12.30, I have the lunch. I have, correct. Have the lunch. I have or I eat the lunch. Eat is comer. The have is tener. Entonces me quedaría, I twirl, I take the lunch. Yes, ma'am. Okay, I twirl. At, at. At, uh -huh. at twirl, I take the lunch. Okay. At. Y, y es correcto, teacher, también decir at, uh, at, 6 p.m. I return home. Como say, regreso. Puede decir I return, o puede decir I come back, o puede decir I, I got. I come back. I come back, me sale más fácil. I come. I come back. Y siempre debo de decir I come back home, o solo I come back. I come back home. Okay, I come back home. Porque dice regresa, pero ¿a dónde? Home. A casa, a casa. I come back home. Y at 7 p.m. dinner, a las 7 de ceno. At 7, sí. in the evening, at 7, I have my dinner. I have my dinner. Then, then, at... Y then at 8 p.m. I start English class. Oh, Good. Sí, English at, class. At 8 o'clock I start English class. English class and finish at, at 10 p.m. Good. Que finaliza. Y, y la otra que sería at... 10, 15 p.m. I pre pre prepare my bed. I prepare and, my bed. And at 10, 30, I go to sleep. I go to sleep. Yeah. I go, I go, I go, pardon. I go to sleep. Yeah, I go to sleep. Muy bien, está muy bien Sí. Está muy bien. Ok, entonces lo dejo ya. Yo de esa manera lo voy a dejar. Ok. Yeah, Perfect. it's okay. Thank you, thank you. 
Mr. Carlos Tenas. Eh, no, lo, no lo escucho todavía. Creo que el micrófono. No, no lo escucho. ¿Y ahora? Ahora sí lo escucho, sí, a lo lejos, pero lo escucho. Sí, ya me está fallando esto, no sé por qué. Um, regresar a casa sería solo I go home. Oh, come back. I, am back home. I come back. Come back. Y se lo voy a escribir acá. I come back. I come back. Come back home. No, no le escucho. Ahora. Ahora sí, muy bien. Ok. Le comento de que a la misma hora regreso a clase, regreso a casa, recibo clase. Sí. Ah, está muy bien. A la misma hora. A la misma hora. Entonces, hay dinner, dinner, cena. Dinner, dinner. 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 Eight o'clock. At eight. At eight. At eight. eight. Um. Luego sería ir a dormir o ahí puede decir I go to sleep. Sería... I go to sleep. I go. I go to sleep. To sleep. Okay. Ahí estamos. Okay. Teacher, me. Yeah. My daily, my daily, daily activity. Good evening, guys. Guys, guys or okay. gays? Guys. Guys. Different place. Guys. Guys. I usually get up at 6:30 a.m. After, uh, after. Um, no sé qué puse aquí. After. No sé qué puse, teacher. After. Uh, after I make my bread, my bed, and take a shower and make breakfast. After going to work, walking. Walking. Uh, ah, esa es. Walking. Se escribe, se escribe walking, ¿verdad? Pero se pronuncia Ajá. walking sin la L. Walking. Walking. Ajá. After going to work, walking. Arrive at work, start seven o'clock in the morning. Attention, parents, eh, call, check emails. I go back home at um, 11 o'clock. I have lunch at um, 11, 11 30 p.m. After watch TV, I have a break. I go for walk, 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 walk. walk. I go for a walk. I have di dinner at 6.30 p.m. After time, I story, I meet class at 8 o'clock. Yeah, I have class. Uh, I have class. I have... 
eh, no pongo no puede ser, I, I take take de tomar I take class Ajá. I take ah. English class podría ser I take English class at eight o'clock pero de ahí para pasarme de decir a las 10 pm no sé cuál le voy a poner voy a poner para decir y a las 10 en a 10 pm in in sí. no en 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 10 pm and i brush my teeth i go to sleep excellent good job okay thank you Ready. Okay, do you need help here? Si ¿Sí? necesitan ayuda en algo, alguna frase. Hello. Solo, solo una pregunta, ¿cómo se eh, la pronunciación de clientes? Clients. Ah, es ¿Cómo? client. Clients. Client o customer. Ah. Uh, How was your day, teacher? I'm sorry. I think. Le escucho como cortado. How was your day? Ah, my day. Ah, was well, a little bit tired. Think... Creo que. Okay. <laughs> yeah, a little bit tired. However, here we are. I woke up very early. Then I went to my job. There was a lot of traffic. Yeah. Then I finished. I went to run. I went to run close to, I don't know if you if you know, Calle mm -hmm. Jerusalén. Okay, so yeah. I, I went to run by there. Then I came back to my home. Then I had dinner very early. <laughs> and I got dressed. <laughs> Uh, I took a bath, then I got dressed, and I am here again to give the last <laughs> shot. <laughs> you in my case, in an airport. Yeah, uh, we work in for the the secretary. Ah, good. Yeah. So, so we're, right um, now. We have with Ricardo, uh, we have the night shift from 7 p.m. to 7 a.m. Very tired, I, I, I guess. So, yeah. So I got to my house at 8 p.m. So I. A.m. A.m. Uh -huh. So you go straight to sleep. A.m. Mm -hmm. A.m. So I just sleep from um, 30 to dry. That was really hot during the day. Yeah, and there are noises around my house. This is it's just a little bit difficult to to I sleep imagine. during the day. I, I imagine. Uh -huh. You close your window. I think. Yeah. The weather is too hot sometime in the day. Yeah. Okay, and then you came back to you come back to the airport to work. Then I yeah. I, yes. Mm -hmm. It's a really hard, but yeah, I know. So, yeah, I, I think long time ago I used to work. At we times. have job. I'm sorry. Uh, 
I can hear very well. I can hear you very well. Okay, there we go. Are you ready to say your daily routine? Are you ready? Keep so so. Ready? Not ready? Okay, ready. do we have any volunteers? Ready. I'm ready. So so. So so. 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 <laughs> okay. Eh, vamos a comenzar con las eh, sus daily routine. Okay. So, la única forma de mejorar es practicar. Entonces, ahora es el turno de que ustedes hablen. Okay. Explico un poco de su daily routine. Okay. Let's do it. Eh, is there any volunteer or victim? Me, teacher. Me. Okay. I think it's Mr. Juan Alberto. Yes. Okay, let's go. Uh, my daily routine is uh, usually I awake, wake up at the four and thirteen a.m. in the morning, and um, and uh, I I after that I uh, make my bed and take a shower and get at the dresses. And the 5 a.m. I go into the work. And the 7 a.m. I arise in my work. And um, and the seven and quarter uh, I uh in per class the the letter of the of science this is the topic and then uh, the I I uh, I I eat my break breakfast the eight the eight thirteen pm and uh, then I prepare the planification and the education the next class. And, and I I return to home at the 4 a.m. And uh, I I arrive in my home, I take a one my dinner and um, and lunch and dinner and lunch because I I, I have to to put and in the day and then teacher I uh the seven eight, eight in the eight o'clock I I receive um class of the English and finally I I go to to the bed to to sleep. I finish. I read that. Okay, good. Excellent. Okay, just let me see. Uh, for example, let's practice this. Okay, I get dressed. Repeat for me. I get dressed. I get dressed. Excellent. I at the end before okay. I before I going. It sería I go to my job. I go to. Sorry. I, no go, I go to my job. To my job. Excellent. Thank you, teacher. Good. Thank you. Good preparation. Okay, another volunteer. Me, teacher. Okay, Miss Sonia, go ahead. Okay. In my daily routine, uh, I usually get up at 5.30 a.m. After that, I make my bed and take a shower. 
I get dressed at six o'clock in the morning. After getting dressed, I have breakfast. Before going to my job, I pray. And then I go to my job. I arrive at job at eight o'clock. I have lunch at noon. I go back home at five o'clock in the afternoon. I start the English class at eight o'clock and go to bed at 10 o'clock. Good job, Miss Okay, just let me see. Ah, la pronunciación de 30. Peri. Peri. Mm -hmm. Okay. Dress. I get dressed. Cambio. I get dressed. Yeah. Es como una, como una pequeña T al final. Dress. I get dressed. Dress. 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 I get dressed. Dress. 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 Okay, uh, I usually get up at 4.30 a.m. After that, I take a shower and I brush my teeth. Then I get dressed at five o'clock five o'clock in the morning and I go to work at 5.10 a.m. I arrive to my job at 5.30 a.m. Then me and my coworkers pray, pray for five minutes. Then I go to the warehouse and I, and I ask for the products. At eight o'clock, I arrive to the town and I visit my clients. I start to collect the money and sell home appliances and furniture. And at 12, I go back to the office. Then I square the money and I give it in the checkout. I give the products to the warehouse and I come back home at 2 p.m. Then I have breakfast. After that, I watch TV and I listen to music. Then I do the homework and at 7 p.m. I eat dinner. Then I have my English class at 8 p.m. And finally, I go to, I go to sleep at 10 p.m. That's it. Excellent. Just a piece of advice, algún consejo, for example, okay, for example, okay, start, right? Es que usted dijo que iniciaba, ¿verdad, Sam? Okay, también, okay, un, un tip, okay, eso es para todos. Cuando inicia, cuando pronunciamos una palabra que al inicio, Okay, tiene una S, por ejemplo, start, tenemos snow, stop, ok, cuando la palabra tiene una S al inicio, comúnmente nosotros por nuestra fonología en español decimos stop, ¿verdad? Le iniciamos con una E, decimos stop, snow, eh, start, pero en, eh, en inglés, el sonido de esta palabra, cada vez que tenga una S al inicio, vamos a, vamos a, a decirlo así. Start. Ya no pronuncio la E. Vamos a decir start. Start. Ok, también start. tenemos snow. Start. Snow. 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 Tenemos stop. 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 E, y eso está incorrecto. Tengo que dar ese detalle, decir ¿sí? stop, no, start. Y con esta palabra, eh, start, hay que, hay que finalizar la T, porque recuerden que hay una palabra similar a ella. Okay, por ejemplo, estrella se pronuncia casi igual, pero la diferencia acá es la T al final. Decimos start, que este es el verbo, significa iniciar. 
start. Start. So, initial classes at. I start classes at 8 o'clock. I start. Okay, so that's the tip. Cuando tengo una palabra que comience con S, vamos a iniciar con el sonido de S. Stop. No. Stop. No. Start. Okay, good job. Ah, eh. S. Ok, tenemos dos palabras muy similares. Ok, una significa eh, lavar, watch, y la otra significa observar, watch. Ver una película, I watch a movie. Eh, la diferencia es que una tiene el sonido con SH. Por ejemplo, se dice eh, lavo mi carro. I wash my car. I wash my car. Y la otra es como una CH, cuando se dice chocolate. ¿Ok? Ese ch, ch. Entonces decimos watch. Watch. Entonces hay que ser muy cuidadoso a la hora watch. de pronunciar estas dos palabras, watch. porque puede ser que eh, usted watch. Eh, watch. lave en el cine. ¿Ok? Pues, <risa> okay. Entonces, watch and wash. Watch and wash. Watch. Wash, wash. Wash. Por ejemplo, esta, este CH cuando esta CH es como cuando su mamá le decía, pasame la chancleta. ¿Sí? Wash, wash. Y la otra CH es como de cuando se pronuncia chocolate en español. Watch. Watch. Watch, watch es lavar uh -huh. y watch es observar. I watch a movie. I watch a movie in Netflix. Ok. Uh, however, good job, Samuel. Uh, good job. Congratulations. Thank you. Okay, another volunteer? Me, teacher. Okay, Miss Brenda, go ahead. Please. Okay. My daily routine is uh, I get up at 4.30 and I made my bed. After that, I take a shower and I comb my hair. Then I get dressed and makeup on my face. Later, I, I take my breakfast and at a quarter to seven, and I brush my teeth. Then at eight o'clock, I start, start my duties. For example, I clean my computer and my area to I check my emails and assist clients to receive calls and I receive payment for customers. Moreover, at 12 o'clock, I take my lunch. After that, uh, from uh, one o'clock to five o'clock, I complete the rest of my shift. Later, I go back home around 7 or 7.30 at night. And then I eat my dinner. After that, I receive my class at 8 o'clock until at 10 o'clock. And after that, I do my homework. On the other hand, I brush my teeth. And finally, around at 10 o'clock, I sleep. I go to sleep. That's Good job, Brenda. Excellent. Congratulations. Que okay, solamente un tip, por ejemplo, es la palabra de la, la pronunciación de esta palabra. Comúnmente la confundimos con eh, en español. En español decimos área. Okay, pero en inglés eh, es diferente. Es area. 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 Okay. Una e, area. 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 Different areas. I work in different areas. Or okay. eh, puede encontrar las herramientas en diferentes áreas. I, I, I can find the tools in different areas. Okay. Area. Okay. Okay, good. And another volunteer? Okay, go ahead, please. <laughs> Mr. Alexander, please. 
my daily routine. I usually get, get up at 5 a.m. After that, I make my bed, then wash my face. I get exercise at 5.15. I water the garden at 6 a.m. I then I take a shower. I have my breakfast at 7 o'clock. After the breakfast, I brush my teeth and I get dressed. Then I go to my job. I arrive at my job at 8 a.m. In my job, I do different things. I have a lunch at 7 o'clock in the afternoon. I go back to work at 1 p.m. and I finish my job at 5 p.m. I go back to home at 6 p.m. After that, I get arrested. I do the homework at 6 p.m. I have my dinner with my family and the watch too. I go to the English class at 8 p.m. Class ends at 3 p.m. After the class, I brush my teeth and exit. Yes. Good job, Mr. Alexander. Excellent. Okay, how about Miss Heidi Marisol? My daily activity. I got up at five o'clock in the morning. Then I take a shower at six o'clock in the morning. I brush my teeth at um, six. 30 a.m. I wait for the boss, the boss to go to work at seven o'clock in the morning. I have breakfast. After breakfast at eight o'clock, I start, start work at 12. I have lunch at 6 p.m. I come back home at 7 p.m. dinner. Then at 8 p.m. I start English class and finish at 10 p.m. At 10, 15 p.m. I prepare my bed and at 10, 30, I go to sleep, finish. Excellent, Miss Heidi. Good job. Okay, Mr. Josue Alexander. My daily routine. I usually get up at seven o'clock in the morning. I take a shower. I usually get dress, dressed to go to work. I have a breakfast. I brush my teeth. I leave leaving home at seven o'clock. At eight o'clock, I arrive uh, a work. The first I do is check my email, uh, review a coding to document document. I have lunch at one o'clock. I I learn a work at seven o'clock. Uh, I return home at seven o'clock. I chat 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 gloss. I dine dinner uh, watching TV. I take an English class. Uh, I brush my teeth at 10 o'clock marketing study. Uh, at, at 11 o'clock 
I fall asleep. Finish. Well done. Excellent. Good job. Okay, how about Mr. Jose Nicolas? Okay, I think he's Hello? Hello? Okay, go ahead. I, uh, yeah. I go to afternoon every day to write today do about my daily activity. Yeah, I usually get up and sit in the club in the morning uh, after they take my big and take a shower and and they they drive in at it sitting searching and and every everywhere in the world uh you take you have the breakfast. You have breakfast in sitting at the club. This morning, prefer in the world to the place and they call the world to the world in the eight eight yeah. 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 in eight, eight the house every day. It's actually Saturday. Yeah. We take breakfast in eleven. Eight twenty nine. Twenty nine. Yeah. In the club. Then he. I go back in home in um, six, 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 in five day. Get you under safe and in my hub. Uh, is the hub in the launch in um, six, seventeen and the Seven in the club. Yeah. In this afternoon, you are much TV, music, and with the basketball and uh, in, in player, camera player. And, uh, he and coach in English, the coaching uh, age in the club, and, and they take a shower in 20 and the days. Finish the trip. Okay, thank you, Mr. Nicolas. Okay, well, uh, thank you to the ones who participated in the activity. Okay, now, eh, vamos a resolver, eh, vamos a realizar esta actividad, la pueden encontrar en su manual, okay, in the manual, it is in page 13, página 13, 13. Okay, ¿qué es lo que vamos a hacer? Vamos a escribir cinco preguntas, 
que usted le puede, que usted le puede hacer a su compañero acerca de actividades regulares que él o ella hace en el trabajo. Okay. Uh, use the question to interview a classmate about his or her daily activity and the time for each. Y vamos a realizar cinco preguntas okay. eh, a nuestro compañero acerca de las actividades que ellos realizan en su trabajo o en su rutina diaria. Okay, let's work in, in breakout in break rooms. There we go. Okay. Ah, ese cuadro lo tenemos que llenar con la respuesta. Eh, lo que hay que hacer, lo que hay que hacer es hacer siete, cinco preguntas a su compañero de las actividades que él o ella realiza eh, en su trabajo. Ejemplo, Esta. Exacto. Es página. Sí, es. 13. Sí. De número 5. Exacto, es número 5. Verify questions. You can answer to last minute about a regular day. Not his or Jeff. What did you arrive? Exacto, puede ser esa pregunta. What time do you arrive at your job? Ok. Or what do you do in the, in the afternoon? Or what do you do in the break? In the break, in case you have a break. Or what do you do at night? Or what do you do at uh, 12 p.m.? What do you do at 12 at 11 p.m., for example. What do you do after, after the English class? Okay. Okay. <clears throat> ¿Eh? O puede ser, like, what time do you have your lunch? O what time do you have your break? ¿A qué hora tiene su ¿Qué? proceso, por ejemplo? ¿A qué hora tiene su almuerzo? ¿O a qué hora ingresa? What time do you arrive your job? Right side question, you can ask the price. Okay. 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 Perdón. No, no, no escucho bien. Okay. 
y ahora? ¿Ahora, ahora? Sí, ahora sí, sí, ahora sí. Ok, creo que, no, pues, a, a, creo que fue a, su a, internet. A Ricardo, porque... no le oigo. A Juan Ricardo, no le oigo. Ok, what time do you arrive? What time does he take breakfast? Okay. ¿A qué hora toma el, el desayuno? Mm -hmm. So I take I take my breakfast at 7 a.m. Pero en la respuesta que usted va a dar, I am. En la respuesta que usted va a dar, le va a poner, it takes with s his breakfast, his breakfast at 7 a.m. Yes. Sí. Uh -huh. But the next mm -hmm. question. Pregunta número tres. Veamos. Uh, what time do you... Eh, para preguntar qué materia impartes, what subject do you teach? Y que asignatura, creo que es San Nantú. San Nantú. Help teacher. Ah, eh, subject. Estamos. Subject. subject. What subject? Ajá. What subject do you teach? Porque le pregunto qué materia imparte. En el caso de ella es teacher. Está correcta la pregunta. Yes, sir, it's correct. What, what okay. subject do you teach? What subject do you subject. teach? Subject. Y asignatura no se, no se traduce como signature, teacher. Eh, pero comúnmente se utiliza más materia, subject. Oh, ok. Ok, entonces... La respuesta sería, Elsa. Eh, hardware, computer. Computer. O, system, operating system. Web design. And algebra. Bueno, toda la materia. <ríe> Casi toda. <ríe> Es que me, me, dan de, me dan de primer nivel, me dan de en medio y me dan al final. Ok. A lot of sub, subjects. Subjects, ok. Right. Um, La otra cosa sería. sería, yo puse, do you take the bus? Do you take Ah, perdón. ¿Y Check. usted? And you, um, um, and you, what, what did you, what did you do for a living? I am a technician. What area? Uh, sería mantenimiento. What is the first thing you do when you arrive to your job? Bueno, si quieres, les practicamos. Ok. Eh, what time do you arrive to your job? Teacher. Ah. Es, es, ¿Se puede usar job o work? Job. ¿Qué, qué es lo correcto del trabajo? Job. Job. Sí. 
que work Do es como like el verbo. Coffee? El verbo, pero work. job es como el lugar. Para, el referir, lugar. para referirse a, eh, al lugar de su trabajo. I call, I call my job to work. Voy a mi trabajo a trabajar. Sería en ese. I go to my job mm -hmm. to work. To work. Mm -hmm. okay. 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 I say to work. I, I arrive or I arrive at seven. Y la otra que yo había puesto era What is your first activity in the office? So I check my email uh, and then I talk with the personal security dispatch for information about the aircraft arrival in the morning. Oh. Aquí está el teacher, ve, aquí está el teacher, preguntémosle, teacher, este, no entendimos muy bien, nosotros lo estamos haciendo a nuestro, ah, como nos da a nosotros, va. Okay. Samuel, vaya, pregúnteme, y yo le contesto así, para que el teacher oh. vea cómo lo estamos. Ok, what time La, la primera. You... Ok, what time do you wake up? I do wake up at six. 6.12 a.m. ¿Es correcto eso? Así es. Son las, las preguntas, está bien, ok, pero las preguntas tienen que ser relacionadas al trabajo. Por ejemplo, what time do you have your, what time do you arrive at your job? For example, ¿A qué horas? ¿A qué hora llega el trabajo? Uh -huh. What time do you arrive to your job? What time do you... Arrive, arrive es de llegar, ¿verdad? Exacto. También okay. se puede utilizar get. get. Uh -huh. Pero en, yo utilicé arrive. Ok, what time do you get your job? Excellent. Good get, pronunciation. Get your job. I. Um, Entonces se contestaría, I, I arrive at. I arrive at seven. 7 o'clock. 7 o'clock. Y ahí le pongo, le pongo in the morning o I am. I am. Puede decir, ¿cuál es la primera cosa que hacen en su trabajo? What is the first thing you do in your job? Um, como encender. ¿Cómo Turn puedo on. Lo voy a escribir en su palabra. Ajá. Door. On a computer, a telephone, um, ¿qué más hago? Eso. Turn on the, turn on the PC. For the computer. Turn on, uh -huh, on the computer. I puede decir, I turn on the computer. I turn telephone. on the, the telephone. Telephone. Ajá. Es que eso es lo primerito que hago, cabal. Ajá. Y aquí donde, y como en el cuadro a la par estaba un time. ¿Y ahí qué vamos a poner? El, a la hora, a la hora que lo hace. Ah, ya. Ok. Perfecto. Esto es a las 7.05. Ok. Y para decirlo a 7 y 7 y 5, voy a decir 7, 7, 5. Aquí lo voy a poner. 5 after 7. 7 after 5. 5 after 7. 5 after 7. O normal, 7, 5. 7, 5. After, after seven. Ajá, pero lo anoté para tenerlo aquí guardado. 
a veces cuando ya estoy muy estresada sueño con las cosas y, y se me quedan. <risa> Eso se llama adquisición del conocimiento. Ay, sí. Hasta que empieza, ya me veo bien. Cuando usted empieza a soñar es porque está aprendiendo. Oh, anoche me acosté pensando en tif. <risa> tif. <risa> Vaya, entonces ahora la otra pregunta. Puede decir, what time do you live? ¿A qué hora deja el trabajo? ¿A qué hora se va? Live. What Ajá. time do you live your job? Or, uh, what time do you have your break? Your break, como en un receso, o su, o, su, o su almuerzo. What time do you have your lunch? I have, dijo. Uh -huh. I have. Ok. I have. Entonces yo salgo, I live. Entonces es correcto que I live, I live a, a job, I live a job, I live a, my job, I live I my live. job, At, at tw 12 o'clock. Good, excellent. Ok. Vamos a ver. Otras, otras amuletas. De hecho, allí. Bombardenme, ya estoy aprendiendo. <risa> <risa> no, no, teacher. No lo voy a hacer, por favor. <risa> Vamos a ver. Y si yo le pregunto a Samuel. Um, uh, mm, I pre uh, you you prepare a coffee in office. Okay, recuerda hacer una pregunta utilizamos los auxiliares. Do you prepare? Ah, do you prepare? Prepare a coffee. A coffee in office. In your, in tu, in your office. In your office. Excellent. Uh, no, I don't. That... No, I don't. <laughs> no, I don't. Don't. ¿Cómo vive usted? Ay, de veras, ¿cómo le hace para existir? <laughs> Vamos a ver. ¿Qué otra cosa? Sí, está joven. Eso, bueno, sí. Pero yo conozco jóvenes cafeteros. Muy cafeteros. Vamos a ver. Sometimes I drink coffee in the morning. Only in the morning. Only in the morning. Yes, never in the night. Never. Ah, oh, ya. Yeah. Me neither. Yeah. At night I can sleep. Uh. <laughs> I only drink coffee or I just drink coffee in the morning. Two cups. Yeah. Two cups. <laughs> Now, one, one coffee in the morning. Y, para decir, a veces. Sometimes. Sometimes in af, um, afternoon. Okay, sometimes in the afternoon. Ajá. Vamos a ver qué otra cosa. Ah... Uh, what 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 ta, what time what time what time uh in in no what time in the lunch what time do you have lunch uh what what time do you have lunch I have lunch at 1 p.m. Sorry? I have lunch at 1 p.m. Good. 1 p.m. Okay. What? What? 
Cuá, qué tiene. Quiero ver. Sí quiero decir, quiero ver. Tiene un refrigerio. Break. Break. Ajá. Do you have break? Break. Ok. Como un recreo, digamos, un refrigerio. Ajá. Ajá. I, I, no. You, you have, do, do, you? do you have, do you have a break? Yes, yes, I do. Do you have a um, break? Y um, quiero ver. Yes. Um, in, in time? Uh, what time? What time? Uh, at about 10 a.m. in the morning. 10 a.m. 10 a.m. 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 10 a.m. Yes. Ok. Ok, hello, hello, hello. All right, now we're going to... Uh, We're going to share your question. Vamos a compartir las preguntas para okay, con el, el compañero que trabajo. With the classmate you work with. Okay, how about Miss Miss Sonia? Who do you uh, can you share with us your your question? Puede compartir con nosotros las preguntas. Okay, teacher. Um, my first question is. Uh, What time do you arrive to your job? And the second question, do you like? Oh no. What is your first activity in the office? Excellent. And the, the third question, what time do you Do you take your lunch? Do you take your um, lunch? Excellent. And the last, what time do you leave your job? Okay, what time do you? Do you leave your job? Excellent. Okay, good. How about Mr. Juan Alberto? Yes, teacher, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you very well. Okay, my first question I was is do you dine with in you in your work? Okay, good. And the second is how many times at work? I'm sorry, can you repeat that again? How many times? Many times. Okay. At good. work. You work. How many times you work? Hey, Mr. Juan. Can you, is it And where are you work? Okay, where do you work? Do you where, work? Yes. Where do you work? Uh, where do you work? Yes. And the one question is, what time do you give class? What time? Okay. So yeah, what time do you teach class? Teach class, okay. Uh, enseñar. Mm -hmm. Excellent. How about me? Okay, Brenda? thank you. Okay. Um, the first question, what time go to work? And second question, what time do you check your email? Right. 
Uh, the free question is, what time do you attend customer? Good job. In for question, what time do does he do eat lunch? Okay, what time do you have lunch? Do you eat lunch? Okay, and finally, lunch? and finally, what time do you finish your work? Excellent. What time do you finish your work? Or excellent. Okay, Miss Maritza Reyes. What what you do work? I start work seven. What to do activity? I love work and country. Okay, that's it. So <laughs> okay, it's okay. Okay, another volunteer, a voluntario. Hey, teacher. Okay, thank you, Mr. Carlos. Okay, um, first question, what do you do for living? Excellent. Uh, what subject do you teach? Excellent. Uh, do you take a bus? Um, Good job. And do you get home late? Um, and do you try go to work? Okay. Finish. Finish. Good. Excellent. Okay, good. Now I'm going to share with you the money again. Okay, yeah. Ya practicamos un poco sobre la sobre el simple present. Okay, la daily routine en su día normal cosas que hacen en su trabajo. Ahora vamos a tener esta, vamos a introducir el, vamos a presentar este tema que se llama How much and eh, how many. Okay, before to start we have Okay, ah, eh, tenemos esta pequeña conversación. It says Hey, we have Ruth and we have Josh. Okay, it says, hey, Josh, Josh, I have a question for you. Do you have, do you, sorry, you have paid vacation at your job? Yes, I do, Ruth. How about you? Me too. I have paid vacation. How many days do you have in your vacation? Your vacation. 20 days to be exact. How many bonus do you have per year, Ruth? I have four bonds. What about you? And how much do you receive? I, I, I have just two, but each bonus is for more than 600. Okay, so recibe bastante bonus. Okay. 600. I wish I had those bonus. Okay. Okay, también tenemos la expresión paid vacation. Refiere a vacaciones pagadas. Pay vacation. Pay vacation. Pay vacation. Exacto. Pay vacation. Vacaciones pagadas. Que tienen... Pay vacation. Okay. Pay vacaciones que se le dan anuales a otras personas dos veces por año. Okay. También habla sobre los bonos. Como bonos. Okay. ¿A dónde es? ¿Cuánto recibe, verdad? How, how much do you receive? I have just two, but each bonus is for more than 600. Yes, okay, no. Eh, tenemos que investigar dónde trabaja. Okay, well, eh... Okay, we're going to practice in a minute. Okay, this conversation. Vamos a practicar esta conversación. Un minuto o dos minutos para practicarla. Hi, George. I have a question for you. Do you have to pay vacation at your work job? Okay. 
Et qui se rie. Ah, ok. Et, et, con la, la tête, la quête, quête. 20, 20 days. 20 days. 20 days to beat exam. How many the bonus to do? Have per chair to? I have four bonus. What about you? And how much do you receive? I have to wait two, two good book and big bonus is for more than day. Seventeen. 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 Yeah. ¿Cómo sería el proceso en el día? 600. 600. 600. Okay. Okay. Empezamos okay. de nuevo. Si quieres, okay. voy al revés. Ok. Hey, John. I have a place to live. The fear you do to have paid vacation and you don't. Yes, I do, Ruth. How about you? Me too. Have the behind behind vacation. How the money today do, do have your vacation? 20 days to be exact. How many bonus do you have per year, Ruth? La pronunciación. Okay. Yes. yes. Hey, Josh. I have a question for you. Do you have paid vacation at your job? Yes, I do, Ruth. How about you? Me too. I have paid vacation of many days. Do you have in your vacation? Uh, 20 days to be exact. Okay. Or yes, how many do you have per year, Ruth? I have, I have four bonus. No sé cómo se pronuncia esa palabra, la verdad. Bonus. Bonus. Bonus Bans. Bans. band band bonus bonus I have for banners what about you and how much oh. do you receive esa otra no sé cómo se dice how much how much do you la siguiente re Re receive. receive 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 how much do you receive 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 how much do you receive receive i had you to to bought a bonus is for more um, that it's hundred hundred Okay. 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 Hey, Josh. 
I have a question for you. Do you have paid vacation at the job? Yes, I do, Ruth. How about you? How, how, how? How, how about me, you? Me too, I have paid vacation. How many days do you have in your vacation? 20 days to be exact. How many bonus do you have per year, Ruth? Ruth? I have four bonus. What about you? On how many, pardon, on how much do you receive? Okay. I repeat, please. I have, I have four bonus. What about you? On how much do you receive? I have just, I have just two both yes. bottom as bonus is for more than 600. Creo que, tengo creo que tengo problema en varias palabras de pronunciación en esta, en esta. I have just, just two, but each bonus is for more than 600. Teacher. Okay. But, repeat. But each bonus is for more than 600. For Teacher is correct. Than... It's correct, the pronunciation. What, what word? What palabra? But. 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 But, yeah. But. But, but each. But each. But each. 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 Hoy Josué que sea ella para que, que lea esas, esas oraciones. Okay. No, pero espérenme, yo necesito practicar esto solita. <ríe> porque me cuesta okay. algunas palabras. Es que, es que no estoy tan familiarizado con esto. Voy a, voy a repasarlo. Un segundo. Practico ustedes dos primero. Okay. Ahora. Hoy usted es Ruth, Josué. Right. Hey, Josh. I have a question for you. Do you have vacation at your your hub. job at your job yes I do Ruth how, how about you uh, me too I have paid vacation how many days do you have in your vacation how many, how many 20 days to be exact. How many bonus do you have per year's root? I have four bon bonus. What about you? And how much do you uh, re receive? Receive. Receive. receive? I have just two, but Creo que encontramos el trabajo de Josh, teacher. Where does he work? Jeopardy. Ha de ser diputado este. Con esos bonos de 600. Bonos. Uh -huh. Sí. <risa> Ni por sí. cerca llegamos. Ni por cerca <risa> nosotros. Qué, qué bárbaro. ¿Cuándo nosotros uno de 600? Okay. No, hombre. Sí, por ahí va, por ahí le voy tirando el oficio ahí, que desempeña con esos bonos. Pues, ya una por, nuevas ideas, por nuevas ideas va a clasificar. Ok, <risa> let's start. Ok, mira, Miss Caroline, can you be Ruth? Ok. And Mr. Alberto, can you be Josh? 
responda al yes. Okay, yes, thank you very yes, much. Yes. Okay. Okay, yo voy a ser, usted va a ser Ruth y yo soy yo. Okay. okay. Hey George. Hi, hey, hi George. I have a question for you. Do you have paid vacation at your home? Yeah. Yes, I do. Oh, yes, I do, Ruth. How about you? Me too. I have paid vacation. How many days? How many days do you have in your vacations? Many. 20 days to be exact. How many bonus do you have per year, Ruth? I have four bonus. What about you? And um, how much how how much do you receive? I have used two, but yes. each bonus is for more than six hundred dollars. Okay, let's, thank you very much. Okay, let me see. How about now? Miss Brenda, can you be Ruth? And Mr. Edgar, can you be Josh, please? Okay. okay. Um, hey, Josh, I have a question for you. Do you have paid vacation at your job? Yes, I do, Ruth. How about you? Me too. I have paid vacation. How many days do you have in your vacation? 20 days to be exact. How many bonus do you, do you have for your route? I, I have four bonus. What, what about you? And how much do you receive? I just have two, but each bonus is for more than 600. Excellent, okay. So let's practice, for example, pay vacation. 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 Job. 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 Good. Job. Job. How about you? 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 Que esa palabra lleva una P al final. How about Entonces, you? Hay que pronunciar. How about you? How about, how about you? you? How about you? ¿Saben? Ahí tenemos bonus. 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 En esta palabra de 20, pues se, se puede pronunciar de dos formas. Se puede pronunciar 20 o 20. 20. En ciertas partes de Estados Unidos se pronuncia con la T bien marcada, 20, y en otras se pronuncia con 20. 20. Ok. Eh, ah, esa. Receive. 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 Excellent. Ok. And we have this one. Each. 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 Exactly. Okay, once again. Pay vacation. Pay vacation. Pay vacation. Pay vacation. Job. 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 Yeah. How about you? How about, How about you? you? 20. 20. 20. Good. Per year. Per, per year. year. Per year. Excellent. Receive. 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 Each. Each. Excellent. Good job. Okay. Con... Una breve introducción. Contable and uncountable. Contables and contables. Okay. Contable and uncountable noun. Okay. Nouns, que son en español sustantivo. Noun, sustantivo. Okay. Uh, for example, you will be able to explain what a countable and uncountable noun is and be able to identify con countable and uncountable noun. Okay. Para continuar. Okay. 
what is a what is a noun? How would you describe? How would you explain noun? ¿Qué es un noun? ¿Cómo explicaría un noun? O un sustantivo en español. Un contable. Okay, we have contable or uncountable. Pero un contable. Okay, eh, pero en sí qué son los qué son los noun? A noun. Es, es el nombre que se le da a todas las cosas. Exactly. For example, can be a person, persona, can be a place, or a thing. Okay. A noun is a person, a place, or a thing. Un noun puede ser una persona, un lugar, o una cosa. That is a that is a noun. Okay, some nouns are countable and some nouns are uncountable. Algunos nouns son contables, se pueden contar, y otros son incontables. Okay, Va, vamos a encontrar ciertos eh, nouns que en español se pueden contar, pero en inglés no tiene como una medida de. Entonces se, se clasifica como incontable. Okay, así que para que no se vayan a extrañar, para que vayan. Dicho, pero si sí podemos contar eso, en, pero tal vez en, en inglés no existe una forma de cómo contar o de clasificarlos en contable. <coughs> example, we have contable. Contables, contable. We have sandwich, we have apple, we have orange, we have potato, cherry, onion, okay, all those things. Y los incontables, por ejemplo, milk. Oil, honey, cheese, okay, sugar, salt. Ok, todo esto son incontables. Pero existe una forma de hacerlos contables. Ok. En ese caso, para hacerlos contables, puede decir una caja de cereal. En sí, la palabra cereal no es contable. Pero si, agregamos, si decimos una caja de cereal, En ese caso, lo estábamos transformando a contable. Podemos decir, I, I need a box of cereal. O, o podemos hacerlo contable cuando decimos una botella de leche, por ejemplo. A bottle of milk. En ese caso, sí lo podemos hacer contable. Pero la palabra... Sí. Dígame. Cuando decimos how many y how much, también podemos a cuál podemos tomar como como contable e incontable ah, exacto. para eso vamos ahí vamos muy bien okay. how many es para contables y how much es eh, uncountable okay, okay. entonces eh, por ejemplo eh, Como estaba explicando, podemos hacer eh, ciertos incontables, pero si agregamos, por ejemplo, una caja de, una botella de, eh, una barra de, a bar of chocolate, pues en, esa, en, esa, en esa sí lo podemos hacer contable. Okay, una caja de pan, puede ser a box of bread, ahí sí es contable. Pero la palabra en sí, eh, pan o miel o aceite, se consideran como incontables. Sí. Okay, here we have more examples. Uncountable. And countable. Cosas contables versus incontables. Podemos decir eh, cuántas, cuántas manzanas. Okay, how many apples. Pero para preguntar por arroz, tendría que decir how much rice. Porque se considera como Incontable. Okay. Countable nouns are the nouns we can count. Son esos eh, nouns que podemos contar. Y los... Y existe una forma. Okay. Por ejemplo, cuando es singular, vamos a agregar una A o eh, an. Si comienza con vocal, utilizamos an. Y si comienza con consonante agregamos, usamos A para referirse a una sola cosa. Vamos a ver unos ejemplos. For example, a lemon 
Okay? An apple. Okay, como pueden ver, se utiliza A para decir un limón o una manzana, pero vamos a utilizar únicamente A cuando la siguiente palabra sea una consonante y vamos a utilizar an cuando la siguiente palabra es una vocal. Para decir un limón, una manzana. Para decir una casa, a house. Para decir un niño, a boy. Ok, if there is more than one, ok, si hay más de dos, si lo vamos a hacer plural, vamos a agregar, en ciertos casos, vamos a agregar S. For example, apples. Apples or lemons. Ok. Esta, eh, vamos a proseguir con la última. Como, ok, vamos a utilizar how many con cosas contables. Cosas contables. Y vamos a utilizar how much con cosas que no se pueden contar. Ok, bueno, eh, vamos a continuar con este tema el día de mañana y vamos a realizar un par de ejercicios. Voy a tomar por última vez la asistencia. Ok, y este día en los, en los, los minutos de uno, los 10 minutos de asesoría individual, este día le toca a Carolina Eleonor. Entonces ella se queda para el refuerzo. Ok, teacher, ok. Okay, vamos a continuar con Countable and Uncountable tomorrow. Vamos a tener unos ejercicios de este tema también. Vamos a ir con la asistencia. Wow. Con... Pero la Ana Charpey. La mamá no le da permiso y que salga, ¿cómo es la cosa? Ok, eh, Mr. Alexander. Present teacher. Brenda. Miss Brenda. Present teacher. Miss Carla. Mr. Carlos Alberto. Present teacher. Miss Carolina Eleonor. Present teacher. Mr. Edgar José. Miss Elsa Merino. Present teacher. Erickson René. Ever Giovanni Ortiz. Present teacher. Heidi Marisol. Present. José Nicolás. Present teacher. Josué Reply. Alexander. Present teacher. Juan Alberto. Present teacher. Juan José Cerón. Juan Ricardo. Juan Ricardo Alvarenga Alas. Kenia Rebeca Navarro Medrano. Hola, present teacher. Juan Ricardo Alvarenga. Kenia Rebeca Navarro. Teacher, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Miss Maritza Reyes. Present teacher. Samuel Isidro. Sonia Miriam. Present teacher. I have problems with the computer. Yesenia Emperatriz. Okay, well, see you tomorrow, guys. Have a good one. Nos vemos mañana. Bye, teacher. Bye. 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 Hello.
Hello. Ok, mis, estos 10, estos minutos son para que usted pueda hacer alguna pregunta en caso usted tenga alguna duda de algún tema que, eh, que hemos recibido. Por ejemplo, el presente simple o otro eh, tema. Entonces, no sé qué tema o si tiene, usted tiene alguna pregunta en específico que podamos repasar. Perdón, no tenía encendido el micrófono, teacher, perdóneme. Ah, sí. este, me he fijado yo que tengo un poquito de dificultad para identificar este, <ríe> cuando voy a ocupar el auxiliar. Ahí me ah, he no fijado preocupe, no se que, que se me ha, o sea, no, no lo tengo bien claro. Okay. Pero no es porque usted no lo haya dudado bien, sino que yo no lo he entendido. No se, no se preocupe. Son temas que, ese tema, aunque sea la, el primer tema eh, gramatical, el tiempo, uh -huh. el tiempo gramatical, en realidad cuesta un poco eh, adquirirlo o sí. la adquisición. Entonces, okay. esto se hace con práctico, pero no, no se extraña que en ocasiones dice, ¿y cuándo tengo que utilizar as o cuándo tengo que utilizar do? Esto es normal. Uh -huh. Incluso hay una escala de cuáles son los temas en que se van adquiriendo eh, con mayor o que tienen como mayor dificultad y en realidad son es el aunque sea algo extraño el simple present es uno de los temas que les cuesta como adquirirlo al 100% pero mediante uh -huh. la práctica uno lo puede manejar entonces ahorita se está en la mejor etapa porque eh, está aún en las bases del idioma le voy a proyectar la powerpoint para sí. que podamos repasar. La voy a, la voy a copiar, voy a tomar un screenshot y lo voy a pegar para, para tenerlo más. Ahí está. Ah, se lo había escrito. Ok, bye. Eh, como uh -huh. usted puede ver, tenemos, esto es para formar preguntas. Ok. Para hacer preguntas. Entonces, automáticamente al usted escuchar do or does al inicio y después el sujeto. Uh -huh. Eh, usted sabe que es una pregunta y que la pregunta está en presente porque mediante eh, diferentes estructuras gramaticales usamos diferentes auxiliares entonces lo que me indica al escuchar do es que la oración está en presente ¿verdad? Y, y que es una, es una pregunta porque para hacer una pregunta en pasado utilizamos otra auxiliar entonces, tú es presente. presente. Cuando yo escucho. Uh -huh. Ajá, cuando usted, usted escucha que es una pregunta. Okay, eso le indica que es una pregunta, perdón. Ajá. Por ejemplo, tenemos el auxiliar do. Vamos a utilizar sí. al inicio. Y después va a ir el sujeto. Por ejemplo, eh, do you work? Okay, yo estoy preguntando si trabaja. Okay. Do you work? Do you work? Ok, o... Eh, do you travel by bus or by car? ¿Viajas por en bus o en carro? Do you live in Santa Tecla, for example? Or do you live in Suyapango? Ok, y estamos haciendo una pregunta. Uh -huh. Do you, or... Is, uh, do se puede utilizar... Bueno, se utiliza únicamente con estos cuatro auxiliares. Okay. Con estos cuatro pronombres, perdón. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Ajá, sí. Do solo es para, para I, I, you, you we, we and they. they. Y el auxiliar does, okay, únicamente se utiliza con he, she, it. Es como para preguntar acerca de he, ella o él. She, it. Vaya. Entonces, si usted me, me hace la pregunta, do you, que si yo trabajaba con él. Do you work? Do you work? Entonces yo voy a, mi contestación debería de ser, yes, I do. Yes, I do. 
O puede ser, yeah, sí. I work. Yeah, work. Okay, la oh. respuesta más corta sería, yes, I do. Yes, o no, I, I do. don't. Ajá, no, I don't. Ajá. Y si, y si fuese que usted me preguntara por alguien más. Podríamos en... por él o por ella. Vamos a poner. Ajá. Digamos que le voy a preguntar por, eh, por Ricardo, digamos. Ricardo. Ajá. Y decimos, hey, eh, does Ricardo work? Yes, he, yes, he does. Yes, he does. Excellent. Muy bien. Yes, he does. Or no. No, no, he doesn't. Ajá. Por ejemplo, eh, vamos a eh, asumir que eh, le voy a preguntar por su amiga, vamos a inventar Carla, por ejemplo. Y le voy a preguntar Ajá. que si Carla eh, estudia, por ejemplo. Ajá. Es decir, hey, does Carla work? Does Carla work? ¿Qué se va a decir? ¿Respuesta mm. negativa? Mm. No, she doesn't. Excelente. Good job. Ah. Muy bien. Vamos okay. a hacer otra pregunta. Eh, Miss Carolina, do you study English? Do you, do you study English? Yes, I do. And your and and your started 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 English. Yeah, study English. Yeah, I do. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Uh -huh. O oh, puede decir, eh, I study, yes, I study English. Ah, pero, ahí pero la afirmar. otra respuesta era, pero la otra respuesta era más larga, ¿verdad? Porque decía, que dije, yes, I do study, study English. Uh -huh. Era más larga, utilizó las dos respuestas posibles. Ah, ok. Ok. Uh -huh. Y para, vamos a hacer una pregunta acerca de eh, Mike. Okay. Ajá. Hey, does Mike, does Mike or does he study English? Hey, hey, hey. Repeat, please. Does he study English? Does he study English? ¿El estudia inglés? Does he study English? Yes, he, he, yes, he study English. Yeah, yeah, he studies, he studies Yes, English. he studies English. Uh -huh. Ah, ajá, ya. Yeah. Porque ahí estamos afirmando. Ahí más o menos, ajá, en, ajá. En la afirmación yeah. le agregamos S a los verbos cuando utilizamos he, she, it. Study. Entonces, ¿cómo se? Si yo digo estudio, estudian. Eh, sería ¿O ellos, ¿verdad? Estudian. Ajá. Yes. O, o no, él, él estudia. Igual sería. Yes, he does. Yeah, he does. Yes, o, he does. O, yes, he studies English. Yes, he studies English. Uh -huh. Yes. Ah, ok. Okay. Ahí voy a tener que seguirlo estudiando hasta que lo sueñe, teacher. Pero ya, <risa> ya, ya, eso lo va a ir manejando con la práctica. Ok, no, y, y, y de verdad que me he quedado sorprendida. Yo le voy a decir lo mismo que le dije al teacher anterior. Jamás en mi vida yo había estudiado inglés, a no ser que en el colegio la nefasta de esa edad que dicen que es clase de inglés, que no es nada. Y en mis años era peor todavía. Bueno, yo nunca aprendí, porque nunca le vi la, la necesidad y nunca me llamó la atención. Pero ahora, en este poquito tiempo, he aprendido bastante y usted nos ha hecho como que trabajar más y, y como que aventarnos más. Yo soy bien miedosa, la verdad. Pero yo digo, me voy a aventar, digo, porque, o sea, si otros pueden, tengo que aprender yo también. Si, si usted se fija, 
eh, trato de preguntarles bastante. Y que, sí. y, y aparte de ir combinando eh, ejercicios de hablar, también ejercicios gramaticales. Porque también es importante las dos cosas. Uh -huh. Sí, sí, Entonces, la verdad que, que sí está.